Hey, it's Emily Cohn for VSU Life, and today I'm going to introduce you to the top 10 student filmmakers from Bridgewater State University who flew 3,000 miles to come to California to interact with judges, a panel of hosts, as well as walk a red carpet. So let's get started. In July of 2015, VSU sent the top 10 filmmakers to Hollywood for the sixth year in a row for the annual Campus Movie Fest Film Summit and Conference. Once there, the students attended educational workshops, had their film screen, and took part in the annual awards ceremony, highlighting the best student filmmakers in the country. First, I wanted to sit down and talk to the students and give them the opportunity to tell me what their films were about. And we are here with... I'm Shannon Molinari. I'm Steve Cullody. And I'm Travis Garlic. And they did? Making Memories. memories. We're going to start recording everything. Oh, everything? Yep, everything. Making Memories is about um, a girl whose fiance um, goes overseas in the military and she is watching home movies, remembering all the good times that they've had in their relationship and um, just kind of grieving his loss as he has passed away. And this is Shannon Chapman. I'm Kelly Boyle. Alex Nathan. And they made... Gone, Gone viral. viral! Let me take a selfie. I really like XX Pro, but I think Valencia gives us a nice glow. Yeah! Gone Viral is a story about um, a girl on a college campus, and she gets taken over by this crazy selfie zombie apocalypse thing. I personally think it's kind of funny, the whole selfie thing, and I was listening to the song, Hashtag Selfie by Chainsmokers, and I was kind of like, the song is kind of funny, it's kind of creepy. I ended up just rolling with it, and John Viral was born. Yeah, I'm Jake, and I made the movie Drunk. It's a psychological uh, portrait of a former boxer whose career had caught up with him in his life, and in his physical abilities and took a toll on everything that he cared for. One of my favorite movies was always Rocky, but I never thought anything really tapped into the kind of disability of uh, Parkinson's. I just thought it'd be really cool to see the kind of physical and emotional impact that that kind of uh, subject would have on a character. And this is? Mark Matheson. Now I'm Erica Callahan, and they made as, As it, it was. was. The movie is uh, about a guy recounting when his sister went missing, and I was trying to figure out what a good idea for a CMF film would be, so it seemed like a pretty, pretty interesting idea for a drama. The Campus Movie Fest workshops allowed BSU students to interact with professionals in the industry, as well as gain a newfound knowledge and perspective for their careers. So I feel like the panels this year were very informative. I was able to come here last year and come in here again. There's always more to learn. Some of it you already know, but it's good to get that reassurance from professionals. Just everyone in the industry really knows what they're talking about, and it's just really refreshing to hear everyone's story. Being here and going to the panels about cinematography and the cameras that we have here, and seeing people who are writers for things like Funny and Die, it's really inspired me. You know, you can't just stay in your comfort zone when you're doing film and video, you have to really go outside of the box. It reaffirms the dream, but it also, you know, makes me want to keep going and keep striving for what I want. The festival screening is something students look forward to because they get to experience their film's debut on the big screen. The students also have a chance to have a Q&A after their film's debut. It was really awesome at the screening just seeing all of the movies that our school has made. It's just great to see other filmmakers share their ideas and their perspectives. Uh, gone viral, are you guys going to do a follow-up movie about the selfie stick? <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're, yeah, we didn't the selfie stick was kind of like, I didn't really know about it when we were shooting it. What do you think is most significant to the entire film itself? I would say the, uh, the first one. When he first gets the camera and he's shooting it and he established that it's an important thing. A little bit at the end with him saying that he hopes that she's okay wherever she is. Do you think in your heart, do you believe that she's alive still? I made it so that there isn't actually a reveal to what happens to her uh, within the film itself. We all definitely walked away with um, a little bit more confidence. It's not even like talking about competition or anything, it's just like so much art and you know passion that people bring here. It just kind of makes me think like you, you have to hone your craft because there's a lot of other talented people out there. The glitz and the glam of Hollywood, awards night. The part of CMF that students look forward to the most. It's a chance to walk the red carpet, interact with others, see celebrities and hopefully take home some awards. Emily for BSU Life, and I'm here with 
Jake Miller, and he's nominated tonight for editing. How do you feel about that? Uh, pretty excited, pretty nervous, but I hope, uh, hope I can bring it home. This is always exciting. The team awards night, everyone's dressed up looking great. And you never know what's going to happen. Maybe we'll end up in the top 25. Maybe. Hopefully, BSU can just represent the best we can. I'm really gunning for everyone and I hope we do well. Hi, it's Emily for BSU Life and I'm here with Ed Capellan. When you hear the other students tell you about Campus Movie Fest, you know, just don't even think about it. Participate. Even if you don't know how to make a movie, that's okay. You know, the folks here will teach you and it's a good story, right? So if you have a good story to tell, we want to hear it and we want you to be involved. So if you guys could say one thing to Bridgewater, what would it be? Really follow your passion because you never know where it's going to take you. Definitely get involved with Campus Movie Fest or even if it's just a small thing, you don't have a lot of time, you got homework, people get that. This is critical for any woman who wants to pursue things in the entertainment industry. It's something so proactive and something so motivating and dignifying that this little extra push could be what really counts. There's a lot of people interested in filming and it's a great thing that BSU keeps bringing CMF back, so thank you. Hey, thanks for sending us here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bridgewater! <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our experience as much as I did and we hope you sign up for Campus Movie Fest 2016. Bye!